Number 14 then from the 2019 Higher Maths Paper 1. Logs, six marks. Logs question. And it's not that bad really, that's like the friendly face of logarithms when you just have numerical calculations to go through with them. For three marks, evaluate what this comes to. Well, you're just going to be using the law of logs. The first obvious one you would see would be the plus. And you remember, oh, if you add them, then it's the product of whatever they're operating on. But you can't do that until you get rid of this number here, this multiplying number. So the first rule you're going to be using is if there's a number outside, it can pop inside as a power. Now you can go through adding the logs. That would be the log of 4 multiplied by 5 squared. And 5 squared is 25. So that's log base 10 of 100. Now without any further ado, you just interpret what that means. Log base 10 means what power of 10 is this? What power of 10 makes 100? That's 2. Then part B, for another three marks. Solve this equation involving logs. But it's much the same as question one though. This time we've had the adding logs, that's the product. We've had the business about the power going in front as a multiple. And now it's the subtract one. If it's the same base and you're subtracting them, then that will be the logarithm of the quotient of this divided by that. 7x minus 2 upon 3. Now, how do you solve that? You need to get rid of this log base 2. Now, you could either reconstruct that as log base 2 of something and then just think, dispose of the logs. Or you could apply the, I'm just going to apply the inverse because I'm only going to go through this using one method. So, if log base 2 acts on that to produce 5, then that must equal the inverse of log base 2 is 2 to the power 5. Which, and 2 to the power 5, you can also use your finger calculator for powers of 2, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Now get rid of the 3, 7x minus 2 is 96, bring the 2 over, 98, divide by 7, 1, 4, x is 14.